what is up everyone this is Karen here welcome back to tech Karen youtube channel this is what you are seeing right now is in my hands the redmi note 9 pro but we have the samsung experience ui which is actually the same kind of a samsung software which right now we have installed it on a device this is available for all the mutual devices which you can install just install the zip file and done not sure about other devices how to install because i haven't tried it out and i'm not going to show the installation because it's not quite of good for daily usage so i don't think so most of you guys will try out this build but i'm just going to show you that how the samsung experience see this is the initial build so we are expecting some things which will be fixed very very soon you can see some status bar icons this room seems to be really great kind of experience but still not recommended for daily use i'm gonna share with you some things which you get here let's get started guys okay, so here we have the model number serial number and other information if you go for the software information this is based on android version 10 so this is not kind of a bad thing you can simply see this is based on android version 10 with the latest december security patch this one is we have the december 2020 security patch so this seems to be really nice we have these kind of options the samsung buttons are available you can simply double tap here two times like this one and you'll see this navigation bar is now hidden you need to swipe up for this one and if you go whatever else like this one that this one is always gone it's uh, already gone how to get that back just go here double tap two once again and now it's done so this is very cool kind of thing available here it has all the samsung experience ui features this is not the samsung one ui by the way this is a samsung experience ui which is called wing ui this is not anything related to one ui one ui is kind of different this is the old samsung which we already know about that we have same kind of ui like the connection sound and vibration notification in display we have options and here we have the twist which which is kind of a major bug for some of the users not saying for all but this might be let me show the brightness slider look at this the brightness is how flickery and it's not quite easy to adjust the brightness i've tried a lot of times but the brightness was not able to adjust very easily you can see now this is looking something different here here we have other kind of flashes so this is a little bit of different but you can see here this is kind of a major bug for some users so that's why this is first thing and other things are a lot more things some basic things are available like it does not include the option of hiding this you can hide this but you'll not be able to use the full screen gestures so gestures are missing from here so this is also one of the things to think about we also have some things like if you go for the status bar you can see I have the 4G network option available. This is not showing as 2G, but it has the 4G option available. 4G is working fine, but the 4G Volti is not working for me. And nowadays without Volti, it's been quite difficult for some of the users. Adaptive brightness seems to be working fine here. Blue light filter is also working fine. And you can see how very easily the animation are changing. So this looks really nice here. If you go for this, you'll see the blue light filter seems to be different and working. We also have the option to turn on our turn on as scheduled or we can choose the opacity up to you. We also have the home screen related customization. Some includes the home screen grid and have icon badges and quick uh, quickly open the notification panel. Swipe down, you will see this notification panel, which is same kind of the Samsung experience UI. This seems to be really nice. And these things are working perfectly fine here. Capture screen, blue light filter and a little bit of things. And we also have the hotspot, a sector hotspot I've never tried, but as I I already told you it's not very good for the daily usage so i didn't try it much and i didn't focus much on this i just wanted to let you know that this latest ui custom room is now available the best thing which i got till now is for example if you want to call someone we already know that in the contacts we have a very cool kind of options here we have the options available if you click here the voice and my files and contacts options are available for example if i want to call someone so if i just swipe right you'll see i will be able to call so this seems to be really nice this is a very cool kind of feature other things let me show you by going back here let me show you by going back here we are able to install the apps we have the wallpaper sections customizations we have the wallpapers themes widgets home screen settings for example if you choose the wallpaper we have the wallpaper like this one just click on set home screen and lock screen this is a wallpaper which is now applied like this we have a lot of wallpapers options are available it's up to you what you want to do on your device it's sector seems to be same but this is kind of a normal one just if you want to try it out the link for the zip file is in the description this is kind of a boring ui by the way this is not that much very exciting ui 
need to try it out you can see icon shapes are very different and nowadays as we have a very cool kind of devices so i don't think so it's really matter so this is just kind of a fun purpose thing for you if you want to try it out this build the link for this one is in the description this is all thanks for watching goodbye